Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you know, you guys know me, I'm a buck guy. I love my buck knives. I, um, I've been doing a lot of reviews on, on buck knives. So we got something uh, a little different here today. As you can see, we got the Benchmade. And this is uh, this is the uh, the Mini Bug Out. Um, I'm gonna say it right away, it's a, it's a fantastic knife. Um, and I'm gonna tell you how, you know, I, I came, you know, to uh, looking at this knife. But yeah, this is the uh, Benchmade Mini Bug Out uh, 533, made in the USA. Now, I know this knife has been around for some years, and, um, you know, there's been plenty of reviews on this knife. If you go on YouTube, I'm sure you can find, you know, thousands of reviews on this knife. But this is new to me. Um, I, I really, I've only owned one Benchmade prior to this, and that was the uh, Mini Griptelian right here with the sheep's foot blade. This is so. These are the two the, the two bench maids, maids that I own, uh, but this was the first one that I I have owned. I've had this one here for I don't know maybe nine months or so, ten months, whatever it is. And I really the, what I love about it is the action. Um, I love the um, the ergonomics of it, the feel of it, the the way that it that it functions. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a great knife. If you guys know, which I'm sure you guys do, but if you know about the mini grip, um, it's a, it's a fantastic it's a fantastic blade. But anyways, that's what the mini grip is what brought me to the mini bug out. And um, what happened was I was going to the store today, and I've been playing around with this for the past few days. And I said, you know what? Let me just go to the store, check out some other uh, bench maids. And this was at the counter. This knife here. This was at the counter. And um, I was talking to the guy a little bit, and you know he was he's he's a knife guy himself. We were going over a few things, and um, I decided to buy it. First of all, it's a beautiful looking knife. Benchmade did a great job with this knife. Um, that's the first thing that caught my eye, and I actually like it. I love it in the orange color. Um, I don't own any knives in orange. This is the first one that I own in orange, and um, it's uh, I like the color. I like the black on it, and um, you know the black hardware and, and everything like that. So that caught my eye, and then the action on it. I mean, the action on this on this Benchmade is awesome for for a knife this size. It's a very it's not a big knife. It's a small knife, guys, and. Um, for a knife this size, I was watching some some other guys talk about about this knife, and it's actually a beast of a knife for its size, for its size. And um, yeah, so I was at the counter today, and, and I, I picked this up. Usually, I stayed away from Benchmade, mostly because of the price. Um, they are pricey, you know. If 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 you know Benchmade, you know that they 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 carry a price with them, and. Um, but that's not always. That, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because you get what you pay for. You know, if you if you um, you know, you pay for a knife that's it's a little bit more expensive. I'm not saying all the time, but you know, you usually get what you pay for. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, with this here, I can tell that I'm gonna have a. Uh, this is gonna be a good knife for me. Now I haven't used it obviously yet because I just bought it uh, today. Uh, but from watching some different reviews on it, what people are saying, um, it's a very, very, you know, common knife people use all the time. Um, and yeah, I just, I can't wait to take it out to work and, and, uh, put some, um, put some use on it. Some specs on it real quick. Um, just give me one second here. So the blade is actually a drop point blade. It's under three inches. Um, so if you're worried about a knife law or something like that, I was kind of mentioning that in my other video with the, uh, the, the buck mini spitfire. Uh, if you're worried about a knife law, you know, this, this knife is probably good to go in, in a lot of States. So you got, uh, the drop point blade, which is under three inches. Um, and it's a really nice blade too. It is, it's actually, um, it's thin. You know, it's a, it's a thin, thin behind the edge. It's going to be a great slicer. That's something that I really need to work, um, you know, opening opening boxes and and different things like that. So it's going to be a great slicer. 
Um, the weight is another thing on this knife. The weight of this knife is only 1.5 ounces, which that is unbelievable to me. Um, I've never had a knife weighing in at 1.5 ounces. Um, I'm a buck guy, like I said before, and bucks usually carry some weight to them. So this 1.5 ounces is, uh, it's like a feather in your hand. It's, it, I can tell it's gonna be great to carry. Um, and I, I know I won't even know it's in my pocket. Um, and you know, that's a good thing. That's a good thing to have a, a nice lightweight knife on you that you know is going to, uh, you know, complete the task that you needed to complete. So yeah, so it's 1.5 ounces under two ounces, which is unbelievable. Uh, it's got the under three inch blade length on it. The, uh, the handles on the Benchmade's. You know, I'm used to calling it FRN, but I think that they call it something else like Gravery or Gravery, Gravery, whatever the name that Benchmade has for it. So, um, you know, it's it's basically from, you know, the way I see it is a, like a FRN material, uh, very lightweight. You got the deep, the deep carry pocket clip, which I think they did a great job on that clip. It's a very, it's a small, small clip, but it's deep carry. Um, I love the hardware, the matching hardware on it. I also like the way they did the thumb studs. You get your, you know, your dual thumb studs here. So this is, uh, you could use this. Righties can use this. Lefties can use this. It's, um, really nice thumb studs on it. And I like the colors, the way they did the color, uh, kind of, you know, coming off of this, this orange color here. They did a great job with it. Um. So yeah, just uh, like I said, a few specs on it real quick. Let me just grab because, like I said, I'm new to this knife myself, so I'm trying to uh, trying to get everything sorted out here. But yeah, the weight 1.5 ounces. The closed length on this is 3.7 inches. So the closed length 3.7. So you're under four inches on the closed length. And see what I mean? How nice that that blade looks. That knife is just a nice looking knife. But uh. Yeah, so this is, that's how it look, you know, in your hand. So small, 3.7, uh, 3 point, was it, what is it, 3.7 ounces for the uh, closed length. And it is a, open, uh, the open length is six, about six and a half inches. So when it's open, six and a half inches. And like I said, the action on this is awesome. Um, really, really nice action. Uh, that blade pops right out, goes right back in. I mean, just really good action on this blade. Definitely all around, as, as you guys know, one hand, you know, you, all you need is one hand with this knife. And uh, that axis lock, so from my other knife that I had, the mini grip, I can say this axis lock is awesome. This axis lock is phenomenal. It really... Uh, you know, I've watched a lot of, you know, what Benchmade says, Benchmade says about it, and it's just a great, great lock. I love that, you know, the way, the way that it works, just pulling that, pulling those down, and, and you know, this, it's just, it's, Benchmade really, they, uh, they hit it out of the park with this, um, with this locking mechanism, so, yeah, anyways, I just, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show this off a little bit today, and, and, uh, go over it, but, this is my second, uh, my second, you know, bench made. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like you, like I said, I'm a, I'm a buck guy, but I think I'm going to be carrying this for a little while. Um, just something different and, and very light and, uh, uh, give it a shot. You know, bench a great company. They're another company that's tried and true. You know, they've been around since I believe 1987 and, uh, they, they're one of the top companies in the world, so they're 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 um they're up there for a reason. This blade also comes in S thirty V. So you got a you know, a good steel on it. It's gonna hold its edge. Um yeah, I can't wait, like I said, I can't wait to get out there and, and, and use this a little bit. I'm used to heavier knives, um, you know, maybe like and you know I'm gonna bring this one out, but maybe like the the buck 112 which is an absolute beast in weight compared to uh compared to this knife here 
And while I have this, these knives out, I want to show you just a few comparisons um, of how this knife looks to uh, some other knives. So you got the um, you got the mini bug out here. Here's your buck 112. Let me do it this way. All right, so there it is compared to your your 112 buck, your mini bug out. Here's your mini grip. Mini grip's just a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit longer. Not by much. Not by much, but uh, there it is to the uh, the mini grip. And we all know, a lot of us know the Rat 2. Let's see how it looks to the Rat 2. So yeah, smaller than your Rat 2. Which, Rat 2, that's another video, but it is also as a great, great knife for the price. Um... But here's a few here's a few knives to compare it to, if you're kind of curious about the uh, the length of it. Can't wait can't wait to get this one out there, guys. Anyways, just a quick review today on the uh, the buck, uh, the buck. See how you see how I'm going right to buck. I'm so used to I'm so used to my buck knives. And you know what's funny is a lot of people I I've met people that they say they don't like buck folders and this and that. Um, it's all it's all personal choice, but uh, I, I'm definitely I, I I love my bucks. I meant to say my bench made the, the the new bench made that I have here. I can't wait to get this out and uh and use it, and um you know, I'll I'll definitely be coming back with what I think of it when I get it out into the field. Anyways, guys, just a quick video today um on the bench made mini bug out, and uh, yeah. Don't forget, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you in the comments. Thanks, guys.